So here I am at probably 3 a.m. surfing through Mel and found this hidden gem, Shinwa Shoku, Blight of Man. With only five chapters at the time, I did what most reasonable people would do. Sit on it for like a month, come back around to it after not wanting to read Gannibal. And not because it's bad, but rather because I'm a fucking bitch. And so I finally started reading. The story starts off with your little to no information as you're dropped off in a medicine with two children and this creepy woman holding a knife which calls herself mommy which honestly could be a pun as she is indeed a mommy then the story cuts off to your typical depressed mc Ayato, with your equally typically energetic good at everything character saito these two they're friends believe it or not who thought children hang friends impossible but guess what saito here can see ghosts Okay, not just like any kind of ghosts, but like the sixth sense type of ghosts. They even have their equally own goofy ghost scene. Now you might be wondering why our MC here is depressed. Well, you see, he is a victim of... For one week, Hayato doesn't show up to school. Saito being worried about Hayato decides to go to Hayato's house. This is where you can visibly see the fucking horror in Haito's face. As Saito gets jump scared by Haito's mother. Wait, what the hell? Hold on, this isn't part of the script. Now, Seta does what, you know, everyone in the situation would do. And that's... Fuck this shit, I'm out. But wait, what's in Saito's hand? Help me, help me, huh? Help me. Motherfucker, help yourself, Saito. You're not actually, you're not actually going back there, are you? Is this... It's no way, right? And so Saita ends up in the situation where depressed MC is being mind controlled or some shit. And the mummy's about to stab someone. And then guess what? The chapter fucking ends. It fucking ends, yes. But overall, I've read the nine chapters that are available. And overall, it's a seven out of 10, okay? There are plenty of things that the mummy can improve on, such as the pacing. But there's definitely some potential here, guys. With only nine chapters at the time of recording, uh, the story has plenty of room to change. It definitely isn't like Junji Ito, but rather it's its own thing, right? Honestly, it's an easy afternoon read. Tell me what you guys think about it. Leave your comments in the uh, comment section down below. I'll have a read.